All right, let's get started. As I said, you're gonna need a block or something for this class. Again, if you haven't got a block for book, pillow, anything will do. And we're gonna start this line, we're gonna start lying on our backs. So just uh, take your feet, get whatever you have underneath your lower back. So just pick your hips up and place underneath your lower back. And the place you wanna, where you wanna go is just on the little, this is called the sacrum, which is the uh, flattest part of your spine, right at the lower back. You wanna place it on there. Yeah, I would suggest the lower setting or maybe the medium setting, um, whichever feels comfortable-ish. Now you can place a, a block, um, a, a pillow, anything that feels good, all right? Now, one of two things is gonna happen when you extend your legs out in front of you, ideally that's where you wanna be. You may feel a bit of pinching sensation in your lower back. We don't want pinching. So if that's happening, uh, the best option for you would be to bend your knees and place the soles of your feet on the ground. So again, option one is knees bent, feet on the ground, option two, um, you can extend your legs out in front of you. But again, just no pinching. And with your arms, just allow one hand to come on your belly, one hand on your chest, and just let your elbows come to either side of you on the ground. Close your eyes if you're not already. And we start as we always do with three big breaths. So big, full, deep inhale through the nose. And out through the mouth. Two more like that. Again, just allowing your breath just to land you in this space, allowing the day to go. Nice, last one. Feel free to make some noise as you exhale. Get weird, it's yoga, it's all good. And with one hand on the belly and the chest, it allows this sense of connection, not only physiologically, but also energetically. So before we move, we'll have fun. It's super important to just stop and connect. Imagine you're a fly in your room now and you're just sort of witnessing your body in this shape. Feeling the clothes against your skin. Connecting with your breath, just without changing things, just feeling the rising and falling of your belly and your chest as you breathe in and out. Connect with the way you're feeling and honouring where you're at, depending on obviously how stressed you are, what you've eaten today, hormonal levels, how much you slept, how much you haven't slept all, weighs heavily as to the way you feel. So you may feel energetic, you may feel lethargic or somewhere in between. Just acknowledge and connect with the way you're feeling. There's no right or wrong, it just is. Take a little bit more control of your breath now. 
keeping your mouth closed. Take deeper, fuller inhales and exhales through your nose. And we'll start with a three-part breath. It's pretty simple. Again, this is one of my favorite breaths in terms of allowing you to transcend any stress or heightened sense of anxiety that people start to feel at top of class. Generally, there's some sort of anticipation of the class or yourselves. And I want you to find a bit more ease so this breath technique just allows that so take a big deep breath in and out inhale feel your belly expand first keep breathing in feel the side body expand keep breathing in feel your chest expand pause at the top and then slowly follow the breath back down, shoulders, side body, belly. Again, inhale, belly, side body, shoulders. And then release, shoulders, soften, side body, belly. Few more rounds at your own pace, just allowing almost a three dimensionality to the breath. Not only you breathe into your stomach and your front body, you breathe all the way into your back body, side body. You feel this three dimensionality, so smooth, controlled breaths at your own time. I go for a six count inhale and eight, eight count exhale, but very much up to you. And slowly complete your last one, finishing with your exhale. And you're coming back to a more natural breath and just notice the way you feel now. And force the body into the nervous system that allows us to rest a little bit more. And the challenge for most of us during our practice is to find this space of connection and ease as we slowly start to move the body. But just remember this beautiful space that you've cultivated now is always there, we just simply lose connection to it. The practice of yoga is rarely noticing when you are disconnected from this space and you simply become aware and bring it back. And let's slowly, slowly, everything stays the same. Draw your right knee towards your right armpits. So hugging the right knee nice and wide. And just take any movements with the knee and the hip. I like to just roll around in a circle. What are you flexing the toes? Nice. And then maybe other direction. Yeah, just closing your eyes and connecting. Nice. And find your end range, your knee towards your armpit, nice and wide. And then extend your right leg up towards the sky. Interlace your fingers behind your hamstring. Flex your toes towards your face. Tight hamstring club. This evening, just note that any time we go to straighten the leg and it doesn't for you, that's okay. Feel free, to, feel free to bend your knees as much as you need to throughout the class. And go ahead, just start to point and flex your toes. So in this class, we're gonna work on hamstrings, right? For most of us, our back chain of our body are quite tight, yeah? So we're gonna really work on opening intelligently. But again, as always, take yourself to your edge. Now, I want you to hover your left foot off the ground now too. So left foot is hovering off the ground. Your both toes are flexing. Flex both toes towards your face and use your arm strength now to try to pull your knee a little bit closer towards your face on an, on an exhale. So inhale, you lengthen. Maybe get a little bit closer on the exhale. Awesome. Then slowly release. Nice hold. 
interlace your fingers on top of your left knee we'll swap sides again placing your right heel forward again just starting off belly and flexing the toes knees in a circle in one direction and the other Now it's going to find your enraged knee as far towards your armpit as you can. Yeah, give yourself one last squeeze and then extend your left leg towards the sky. Again, hyper bend in your left knee if you need to. Inflation your fingers the back of your hamstring and just point and flex your toes. Just notice how that affects your experience, the back of your hamstring, just connecting there, pointing and flexing. And find your end range and again hovering your right foot off the ground so not only are you getting an opening through your back of your left leg you're getting a nice contraction in front of your right hip yeah toes towards your face again try to use your arm strength inhale you find length and exhale maybe get a little bit closer the knee towards your nose give yourself one last squeeze slowly release Bend both knees, place your feet on the ground and very, very slowly lift your hips up. Remove whatever you have underneath your lower back. And then bring your feet nice and wide, bring your knees to touch and just slowly windshield wipe your knees from side to side. Nice. Awesome. And shoot your legs back up to the sky again. You can heavy bend in your knees if you need to, so both legs towards the sky. Options with the hands, you can place your hands on either side of your hips, palms facing down. If you've got any lower back issues, you may want to place your hands underneath your lower back with your palms facing down. Or option three, reach your arms up over your head. Either way, draw your belly button into the spine, so your belly button pulls in and up. Inhale here. Exhale with the toes flex. Slowly lower your right leg towards the ground, let it hover. Again, pulling your belly button in and up. Then inhale, right ankle mix left. Pretty simple to start there. Yeah? Swap it over. Exhale, left leg lowers. And again, inhale, brings it back up. Just slow and controlled. If you want to crank it up a bit more, feel free to lower both legs at a time, right? So there's lots of options for you. I don't care which option you take, as long as it's slow and controlled. Yeah. Breathe here. Building, starting to again build this internal heat here. And we'll all meet with your left leg up and right leg extended. Reach your fingertips towards the front of the room. Reach the shoulder blades up and off and hold. So you're crunching up here. You want to lengthen through the back of your neck. So gaze towards the ceiling. Toes are flexed. Get your shoulder blades up a little bit higher. Inhale here. Keep your shoulder blades up and just simply swap legs. Right leg up, left leg extended and hold. Belly button to spine and breathe. Deep, full breaths. I know, I know, I know. One more. Left leg up, right leg extended. Keep the chest up. Beautiful. Hold. Five. Chest up. Four. Three. Toes stay flexed. Two. Last one. Right leg up, left leg extends. That's it. Hold. Five. Keep chest up a little bit higher. Four. Three. Two. And release. Knees towards your chest. Enough of that nonsense. <laughs> Let's start to build momentum and spine rock back and forward. So, rocking back and forward, building momentum. And when you're ready, cross your ankles, place your hands down, downward facing dog, hips up and back. And straight away, take a heavy bend in your right knee and ground your left heel. You may not even get close to the ground, but you're energetically trying to ground through your left heel. It sounds counterintuitive, but see if you can even lift, lift your left five toes up off the ground. So that it accentuates, geez, that's a big word, accentuate. Ex <laughs> I trick myself sometimes. Again, driving your heel down and just notice, start to feel the entire back of your left leg start to open a little bit more. And then it will slowly, simply swap it over. Again, heavy bend in your left knee, right heel grounds. Again, look at your right toes. Try to lift your left, right toes up off the ground. Now, it could be a millimetre. Nice. And then you slowly change direction. So inhale, high into both tippy toes. Again, exhale, bend your right knee. 
You're getting one breath, one movement. Inhale, high to tippy toes, swap it over. So just sort of a prancing motion here. And again, trying to ground at your own pace, lifting your grounded toes up off the ground. Nice. Beautiful. Awesome. Go ahead and try to ground both heels. Bend your knees as much as you need to try to lift all 10 toes up off the ground. Yeah, drag, push the floor away. Now do the opposite, come high to your tippy toes, and then tippy toe towards your hands. So tippy toe, tippy toe, tippy toe. So take as many steps as you need to. It will all need you in a forward fold in front of that. Nice, inhale, halfway lift, so hands towards your shins, collarbone squeeze. Nice. Exhale, forward fold, chest to knees. Two more like that. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, collarbones forward. Exhale, release. Last one. Inhale. Nice. Exhale. Now this time, inhale, raise your arms up to standing. Bring your palms to touch up over your head. Look towards your thumbs and slowly, if it feels good, Start to back bend a little bit or a lot. So the shoulder blades move back into space. Inhale here. And then slowly release forward fold, chest to knees. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, collarbones forward. Fingertips on the ground. Set your right foot back, drop your right knee down, low lunge, the arms rise. Beautiful. I want everyone to Open heavily through your right hip. So just really relax through your right hip, right? And this is what we don't want in this shape. So I'm going to be banging on the whole class about squaring off your hips. So bring your left thumb to your left uh, hip crease, right hand to your right hip, and go boop, square your hips off. So both hips are facing forward. Super, super important. Yeah, if we open through the right hip, we get quite a bit of irritation through the lower back and can sort of cause some compression in the little SI joint here, so it's not so comfortable. So again, hips are square, arms are active. So bring your arms up towards the sky, spread your fingers nice and wide. So outer left hip back, right knee drag it forward, inhale here, half splits on an exhale. So straighten through your left leg. This is where you may want to grab a block. If you're super tight, you may want to grab a block or a book, whatever you have, and bring it to the inside of your left knee. So that's option one, this is a nice option. And again, heavy bend in your left knee. You do not at any time need to have your legs straight through the class at all, okay? So keep your chest nice and proud. That's it. Beautiful. So re-bend, inhale, the arms rise. Good. Let's get nice and forward between those two shapes. Exhale, straighten, half splits. Straight through your left leg. Beautiful. Three more. Inhale. Nice. Fluid. Two more. Last round. This time, inhale, re-bend your left knee. Bring your hands on either side of your left foot. Tuck your right toes, lift your right knee up off the ground. Walk your hands towards your right ankle. Drop your left knee towards the ground. Low lunge back to the mat. Inhale, the arms rise. Again, get super lax through your left hip, so open your left hip out towards the side. Yeah, cool. And over time, if this happens, you can really cause a lot of irritation. So, boom, square your hips off. Yeah, so it's out of right hip back, and your left knee is dragging forward into the ground and forward. Awesome. Grab your block ready if you need the block for the half splits. Inhale here, you get half splits, exhale, straight through your front leg. Just hold this first round. Again, grab a block to the inside of your left knee. Again, instead of thinking about a forward fold, I want you to think about back bending. So your chest pulls forward instead of down. Yep. Right toes are flex, right knee cap lifts. Beautiful. Let's move. Inhale, re bend, the arms rise. Again, exhale, straight, maybe sweep your arms at either side of you, squeeze the shoulder legs, that's it, beautiful, inhale. Three more. Nice, just slowly 
encouraging the hamstrings to open, also the hip flexor inhale here. Hands on either side of your right foot. Tuck your back toes, lift your left knee up off the ground, original front of the mat. So walk your hands towards your left ankle, all 10 toes face the original front of the mat. Place your hands down, step back to a high push up position. Listen carefully. From here, draw your attention to your webbing in between your right big toe and your second toe. Wedge that behind your left Achilles. Yeah? And then use that as leverage to slowly encourage your right heel to draw back into space. Yes. Again, this not only lengthens the back of your leg, you should start to feel a contraction in the front of your left hip as well. Start to strengthen a little bit more through the psoas, the front of the hips here. Nice, and then slowly swap that over. Again, left webbing, back of your right heel, press back, pull the chest forward. Nice, push the floor away, hug your thumbs in, inhale here. Nice, left foot down, knees, chest and chin. Nice, I'll lower all the way down. Bring your hands on either side of your hips. Keep the tops of your feet pressing to the ground. Inhale, lift the chest and the hands up. Hold, it's tough to breathe here. I know. Try to lift your belly button off the mat. So draw your belly button in and up. Protect your lower back. Inhale here. Downward facing dog, go to the next half. Hands at the shoulders. Tuck your toes, hips up and back. Down dog. Nice. And again, coming high into your tippy toes, as high as you possibly can. Look beyond your hand and then tippy toe towards your hand. So tippy toe, tippy toe, tippy toe, tippy toe. That's it. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins. Again, exhale, fold, release. Two more. Inhale, chest proud. And then fold, last one. Inhale. Exhale, come to standing. Inhale, sweep your arms up again. Bring your palms to touch, look towards your thumbs. Back in if it feels good. And then forward fold, chest to knees. All the way down. Let's put this all together. Inhale, halfway left. Fingertips down, right foot steps back, right knee down, low lunge. Sweep your arms up again, straighten to half steps now. Exhale, straight through your front leg. Three more. Breathe. Move. Last one. Low lunge back to your left. So inhale the arms up. Hands on either side of your left foot. Tuck your back toes. Walk your hands towards your right ankle. Back of the mat. Left knee down. Low lunge. The arms rise again. Again, half splits on an exhale. Straight through your right leg. Three more. Last one. And then inhale the arms up. Hands on either side of your right foot. Tuck your back knee. Walk your hands in the original front of your mat towards your left ankle. Place your hands down. High push up position. Inhale here. Again, webbing on your right foot behind your left Achilles. Squeeze back, chest forward. Hold. Nice. Push the floor away. Left heel pushes back, crown the head reaches forward, inhale here. Very slowly, control, swap it over, left webbing, right Achilles. Push back, this encourages more of the lower portion of the back of your leg to open. Nice in around Achilles and your glutes. So your calves, I should say, push the floor away, inhale here. Left foot down, knees, chest and chin. I'm warming up, hopefully you are. Hands on either side of your hips. This will do it. Inhale, bring the chest, feet and hands now. Beautiful, and breathe. Nice, if you want more, extend your arms out in front of you. Keep the chest up, feet up. Hold for five, four, feet up a bit higher. Three, two, down dog. And and this is when the layer may want to come off. <laughs> breathe, 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 breathe. Deep, full control breath. So we all remember lying down at the top of class. We found that beautiful, deep, deliberate grounding breath. Find that now. And we generally 
tend to lose that as we build up a little bit of heat. And just connect with your hamstrings again. And for some of us, our body's a little bit more stubborn than others. Some of us may not feel too open yet, but some of us, will bodies will respond and start to feel a little bit more open through the back body already. On your next inhale now, let's move on. Raise your right leg up and back. And today I'm not too concerned about your right leg, I'm more concerned with your left leg. Try to ground your left heel. And as we did before, try to lift your left toes up off the ground. It sounds kind of intuitive. Then do the opposite, come high to your left tippy toe. At the same time, draw your knee towards your nose. Try to kiss your knee. Then inhale, raise your right leg up and back. Nice again, knee towards your nose again. Slowly step your foot through. Keep your fingertips on the ground, run as lunge. Again, option one, bring a block to the inside of your right ankle or a book. This is a beautiful option here, yeah? So especially if you're quite tight through your hips. Yeah, nice option here if you need, if not, fingertips on the ground, chest pulls forward. Think about a launching pad. You always think about, like, I'm getting ready to launch off. So left heel presses back and feel that lift all the way through the back leg, through your spine, all the way to the crown of your head. Nice. Inhale here. Listen carefully. It's going to sound weird. And it feels weird the first time you do it. But just bear with me. Straighten through your right leg. Bend your left knee. Flex the toes towards the ground. Tug hamstring, tug your leg. What? Grab a block, bring the block to the inside. All right, so right leg straight, left knee for the heavy bend in it. Yeah, and we'll go between those two shapes, nice and fluid. Inhale, re-bend, chest pulls forward. Again, exhale, straighten, chest still pulls forward. Just straight through your right leg, left knee almost on the ground. Inhale, re-bend, just rocking back and forward. Exhale, straight. Last one, inhale, exhale. Now inhale, come on forward, walk your hands further forward, standing splits, raise your left leg up and back. Again, this is where blocks come in, bring a block underneath your face, left legs up and back. Look at your left toes, they should be pointing down. Tendency for many of us is for your left toes to open out towards your side, hips are square. Plenty of options here, you keep your fingertips on the ground, or if you want to Practice your balance and test it out a little bit. Maybe bring your hands behind your calves or your ankles and use that as leverage to get your chest a little bit closer. Handstand kick ups, absolutely. Beautiful. Nice. Come high into your right, tip your toes high as you possibly can, and take a giant step back with your left foot. So, left foot back, Skandasana. What does that mean? Walk your hands towards your left ankle. Bend your left knee straight through your right leg. So option one is to duck nice and high. Option two, you'll come quite low. If you've got dodgy knees, please stay up quite high. I know we've got people from around the world. Dodgy in Australia means, in the States you call it sketchy, right? Ah, oh, Brits, there's a few Brits here. You know what dodgy means, don't you? <laughs> Keep the chest up. Beautiful, slowly swap it over. Stay low, stay cool. Right knee bends, left leg straight. Nice, beautiful. One more towards the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, go left. Nice. Look towards your right ankle. Bend your right knee. Bring your hands on either side of your right ankle. Step your right foot back to a high push up position. Inhale here. Knees, chest, and chin lower all the way down. This time we'll slowly progress the back bends now. So bend your knees, bring your hands on either side of your hips, palms facing down. And you now bring the chest, hands up, and then maybe the knees. The knees may not come up very high, that's okay. Reach your collarbones back, chest up, hold. Flex the toes, five. Belly button in and up, four, three. Squeeze the collarbones, two, release. Down dog, hips up and back. Nicely done. Breathe here again. So we'll show you all that goodness on the other side. Left leg up and back. Again, look at your right heel. That's what we're focusing on. Ground through your right heel. Lift your right toes up off the ground, even if it's for a millimeter. 
Keep grounding through your right heel, let's do the opposite. Come high into your right, tip your toes, draw your knee towards your nose. Try to kiss it. Inhale, left leg up and back. Nice, draw your knee towards your nose if you can. Slowly step it on through, right as lunge, fingertips on the ground. Or again, hands for block. I'm a massive fan of blocks. Yep. Yeah. Nice, again, come up to your highest setting on your block. If you need to, you've got two blocks you can bring. One hand in each block as well, block whatever feels good. Whatever gets the ground up higher. If not, again, fix it on the floor. Again, inhale here, this awkward half split again. So, straighten through your left leg, bend your right knee. Keep pulling chest forward, and again, option one, hands to the blocks. Nice, breathe here. And again, inhale, re-bend. Again, exhale, straight. Beautiful, three more. So you can keep your left knee bent as much as you need to. Last one. And then launch forward, straight into standing split. So shift weight forward, walk your hands forward, right leg up and back. Look at your right toes, point your right toes down. Nice, and breathe. Again, you can keep your fingertips on the floor or a block or maybe play around with balance, hands to your calves or the back of your left heel. And breathe. Super strong through your standing leg. Handstanders, now it's your time. Absolutely. Nice. Beautiful. Come high into your left tip of toes, high as you possibly can. Scan last in the back of your mat. So that means a big giant step back with your right foot. Bend your right knee, straight through your left leg. Nice, keep your chest up, yeah? Beautiful, slowly come on center, over towards your left. Nice, beautiful, one more. The right knee bends, left leg straight. You can look towards your left ankle, bend your left knee, hands on either side of your left ankle, left foot steps back, high push up position, inhale here. Again, knees, chest and chin lower all the way down. Bending your knees, hands by the side of your hips. Inhale, come on up. Flex the toes, chest up. Again, the knees may not come up very high or whole five. Squeeze the collarbones together. Four, three, two, down dog. Nice. Breathe. Hmm. We've started to build up quite a bit of heat, so let's get rid of a lot of it. So a little bit of it now. Take a big deep breath in through your nose. Stick your tongue out and exhale. Two more. Let's get weird, let's get yogi. Last one. Make some noise, get weird. No, that was way too weird, sorry. Let's, let's move on. Let's put it all together. Inhale, right leg up and back. Again, ground through your left heel. Come high into your left tip of toes, tiger curl, knee to nose. We'll put it all together. One more, inhale, right leg up and back. Again, knee to nose, slowly step it on through. Fingertips on the ground, inhale, puff the chest forward. Exhale, awkward half split, straight through your left leg, right leg, bend your left knee. That's it, two more. Straight away, standing splits, walk your hands forward, left leg up and back. You got it. Yeah, maybe come to a balance. Bring your hands behind your calf, that feels good, or handstand. You know I'm gonna absolutely handstand. One trick monkey here. That's it, now here. Stun bastard, set your left foot back. That's it, bend your left knee, ground your right heel. Chest up, slowly center over to the other side. Stay as low as you can. Beautiful, over towards your left. Nice, look towards your right ankle. Bend your right knee, hands on the other side of your right ankle, right foot back, high push up position, knees, chest and chin. You know where we're going now. Bend your knees, grab the outsides of your ankles. You know what's coming, knees to touch, toes are flexed, inhale, come up. Hold, kick back, five, breathe, four, three, Two, release. 
Down dog. Nice. Left hand side. Inhale, left leg up and back. Again, ground through your right here. Inhale here. Exhale, high knee to nose, tiger curl. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Step right through. Runners lunge, fingertips on the floor or a block. Inhale, chest forward. Exhale, awkward half split, straighten, left leg straight, right knee bends. Two more. Launch forward, standing splits, right leg up and back. And lots of options here. You can kick up to the handstand or bring your hands behind your calf, whatever feels good. Inhale here. Big step back, skandasa, right knee bends, left leg straight, sit low. Nice, side to side. Beautiful. Right knee bent, left leg straight, high push up position, front of the mat, hands on the right side of your left foot, inhale here, knees, chest and chin lower all the way down. Again, bend your knees, grab the outside of your ankles, flex your toes. This is too much, please bring your hands on either side of your hips. Inhale, come on up. Kick back, five. Breathe, four, three, two, and release. Ah. Oh. Stay down. Just rock the hips from side to side a little bit. Nice. So much fun. Reluctantly, downward dog. Hands in the shoulders. Tuck your toes, slip your hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Awesome. Now bring your thumbs to touch. And then step your right foot to the outside of your right hand and drop your left knee on the ground. Nice. No, you know what? That's what we're doing next. <laughs> Come to a downward facing dog again. I knew something was wrong. Bring your big toes to touch again and then tip big toe, your feet towards your hands. Butt up nice and high. Keep your chin towards your chest. Then slowly stand and grab your block if you have it with you. Come on up. All right. Beautiful. So grab your block if you have it. If you don't have it, it's not far from the end of the world. And I'm going to show you I'm um, facing the mat. You want to bring the block if you have it to the front of your mat. All right? And it's high setting. Some of you need it, some of you won't. And then stand in the middle of your mat. Cool. Everyone got that. All right. Infinite amount of options here. This is an extended hand, uh, uh, hand to foot pose here, right? So shift weight to your left foot with any balanced pose. You're getting super strong through the standing leg. So lift your left kneecap, left glute, super engaged. And then with your peace fingers, grab the inside of your big toe and come up to standing. Cool. And for some of you, this is going to be enough, right? It's going to be testing your balance, especially if you're a beginner and you haven't got a lot of strength in your legs. This is enough. This is the basics, right? So keep your chest up, your knee can stay bent. If you want a little bit more, you're like, oh, I think I can go a little bit more. Maybe start to extend your right leg forward. That'll be option two. Yep. Either way, your chest is up. Nice. Plug your right shoulder in as much as you can. Listen carefully to this transition. Open your right knee or your right foot out to the right. Cool. Keep your chest up, I know. And then from here, keep the leg exactly where it is, but bring your hands to heart center. It's a tough transition, yogis. Swing your right leg back. Bring your chest down. Half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. So your left hand can come to a block or the ground. Then inhale, raise your right arm towards the sky. Nice. So open right hip, open right shoulder. This is one of the first opening shapes of the class, right? So take it easy. Option two and three, absolutely bend your right knee, right hand to right ankle is a nice option for Japasana. 
If you do want to take it, if you want even more, bring your hands to heart, to bring your left hand to your half center as well. If not, half moon is more than enough. Beautiful, hold strong, three, seven, and five, four, three, two, one. Square the hips off, right foot down, chin to chest, slowly come on up. That wasn't so pleasant, was it? <laughs> All right, let's do that on the other side. Left side's always easier, right? <sighs> All right, let's do it. Again, shift your weight to your right foot. I always make sure my right glute, my right quad's on fire, that's active, so I lift my right kneecap. I like to touch my right butt cheek, that sounds weird, but if I touch it, I know, beautiful, that's engaged. Standing leg, super strong. Super important, any balance, right? And then, draw your left knee towards your chest, peace fingers, grabs the inside of your left big toe. And again, if you're super tight for your hamstring, left knee out, it doesn't look good, but you know what, who cares? This is where you're at, looks fine. Okay, strong through your standing leg. Again, stay here, or maybe start to extend your left leg forward. Nice. Nice. And again, open your left knee or left leg out towards the left. Keep your chest up. That's it. And then slowly let go of the foot. Bring your hands to the heart centre. Again, there's that tough transition to half moon. So the first thing's first. Extend your left leg towards the back of the mat, bring the chest forward, and then it comes down. That's why we have the block there. Maybe bring the hands towards your block, but take your time. Again, it's the first time you're opening your hips to this side, so it may feel a little bit wonky. Yeah. Nice. Again, option two and three, we're bending the left knee and grab the top of the foot. Peel your left shoulder open, peel your left hip open. So finding as much room as you can there. Beautiful, hold for five, four, three, strong as we stand there. Three, I said three already, we're back to two. <laughs> One, left foot meets right. Ah, chin towards your chest, come up to standing. Give your neighbor a virtual high five. That was a tough transition. All right, sun salutation A. Experience yogis, you know what to do. We'll meet you down dog. If you don't know what to do, that's why I'm here. Start in front of your mat. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, we fold forward, chest to knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fingertips down, step or jump back. High push up position. Inhale here. You can lower halfway or all the way down. An upward facing dog will probably feel good here. So push yourself up, upward facing dog. Tops of the feet press, chest up and back. Downward facing dog. All right, now this is where we were before. Bring your thumbs to touch. I forgot that whole seat. Anyway, we're back. Thumbs to touch. Swing your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Drop your left knee down. Cool. All right. Listen carefully. I want you to take this shape as wide as you can, i.e. step your left knee back as far as, it, as is comfortable. Yeah. Now, I'm going to give you a few options here. Option one would be to tuck your back toes. Option two would be leaving your back toes untucked. Yeah? So this is a variation on a lizard lunge here. So whatever option you're taking, lift your left knee up off the ground, come up to your fingertips, pull your chest forward. Yeah. Good morning slash good evening slash good afternoon, left soles. You should be feeling it absolutely on fire. Nice, breathe. If you're not, come up high onto your fingertips. Keep pulling your chest forward. Nice, beautiful. Inhale here, then slowly release, left knee down. Ah. So heel your right foot so it's almost off the mat. Bring your right hand to your right knee, then do whatever feels good. Open your right knee up to the right. Maybe come to your left elbow as well if that feels good. And lift your chest up and back. Big opening here. Nice. Should we try full splits? Yes, Ian, I'd love to try full splits. Thanks for asking. All right, Ian, now draw your right leg forward. Now, full transparency. Every time, for the first five years of me practicing, every time I 
teacher said Ian full splits. I did half splits because that was where I'm at. So know that half splits, which you'll be doing all class, if that's where you're at, that's where you're at. Blocks are your friends in splits. Ideally two blocks, I only have one block with me now. Again, we'll all start with the right leg forward before you end the video and go, this is way too much and be very disappointed. Let's, let's, let's give it a go. Go right leg forward. And again, first of all, strengthen your right leg. Flex your toes towards your face. We've been talking about the fundamentals of splits the whole class, right? So out of right, hip back, left hip forward, hips is square. That's what I've been talking about, hips square the whole class. Listen carefully. If you want to go a little bit deep, so first of all, stay where you are, option one. Beautiful. If you want a little bit further, take it very, very slowly. Wriggle your right foot forward. Step your left knee back. Square your hips off. Wriggle your right foot forward. Left knee back. Square your hips off. And just repeat that. Wriggle forward. Left knee back. Square the hips off. Right? So you want to essentially, maybe, just maybe you'll get all the way to the ground. Most of us won't get there. And that's okay, not this life anyway. Now, super important wherever you are is to keep the core engaged. So feel the core lift in and up so you're not lapsed into it. If you want a bit more, you can absolutely raise your arms up towards the sky. Hold and breathe. For five, four, three, two, and release. There's no graceful way to get out of this. Just bring your knees together. Sit your butt towards your heels and breathe in and out. Nice. Aren't you glad you made it to your mat today? Nice. Let's find that extended lizard lunge. So bring your hands down, thumbs to touch, and you will simply uh, step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. And walk your right knee back as much as is comfortable again. So you want to get as much distance between your left heel and your right knee. Yeah, for some of us, they'll be quite close. Again, option one is to tuck your toes. That's an easier option. Take it if you need to. Or option two is absolutely untuck the toes and inhale, bring your right knee up off the ground. Again, bring your hands to blocks if you need to. Just close your eyes and breathe. This is intense. Right kneecap is lifting, right hip, front of the right hip is encouraging or screaming, I don't know what your right hip's doing, one of the two. More importantly, just breathe into the sensation. Breathe into the discomfort. If you want more, you can absolutely insulate your fingers on top of your left knee and come on up. That would be a little bit more. If you want to take that option. Beautiful, hold, five, four, three, two, and release. Right knee down. Straight through your left leg, get, to get straight into this. No, we took the open leg option, didn't we, to relax, that's right. Left hand to left knee, left knee away from you. I can't deprive you of this, this is a beautiful shape. So do whatever feels good, you may want to bring your right elbow, we've got a bonus hip flexor opening, you can bend your right knee, grab the top of the foot as well. Nice. And do whatever feels good here. I'll just sort of sway from side to side here. Nice. Let's do the left knee draw it on center. Everyone stay straight into half splits, straight through your left leg. Again, blocks. You don't lose yoga if you use a block. I use block, I use block every single day. So block to the inside, chest is forward. This is a beautiful beginner variation. But again, if you want to explore a little bit deeper, set three movements. Left foot rivet it forward. Right knee, step it back, square the hips off, rinse and repeat. Left heel, drag it forward, right knee back, square the hip off, yeah? And just keep doing that. And then again, some of you may be just at halfway point and just use your breath. This is the time we use our breath and come to your, again, some level of ease in this shape. I know the body is screaming physically, but can you find a sense of quietness and stillness inside? Taking yourself to your edge, option three and four. If you want to raise your arms up towards the sky, go ahead and do it. Breathe. Nice, five, breathe. Four, 
three, two, and release. Nice, 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 nice. Drag your left knee back. Uh, and we'll take to a nice little restorative hero pose. You may want to grab your block for this. Bring your knees to touch. Bring a block underneath your, little, your butt or a book. You can sit the hips down. You can either sit here. If you're asking a hero pose, there's infinite amount of options. If you want to come all the way back, bring your hands down. If you can bring your shoulder blades towards the ground, guess what? Boom, you won't need your block. So remove that. I only go as far as pretty much seated, so if you this is where you're at, this is where you're at. Just close your eyes down here and breathe. Starting to slow it all down now. So we'll be here for too much longer. Just one more deep breath in and out. Very, very, very slowly come up the same way you came in. If you've got a block or a prop, remove it. Swing your butt towards the side. Swing both legs forward. And a nice restorative Paschmottanasana forward fold. So if you need to place a block into your hips, do it. Flex your toes towards your face, stay up here, or maybe start to walk your fingertips forward, 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 a nice restorative forward fold. Should feel pretty darn good. Nice. And from here, slowly bring your chest up. Wriggle your feet all the way forward so you're, you're, you can have enough room to go all the way back now, right? So very, very slowly extend the arms out in front of you. Bring your chin towards your chest and slowly roll them down. Nice. Hug your right knee straight in towards your chest. Twist towards your left. So knee towards your left. Your favourite twist if you want to cross your legs. Over, you want to take leg extensions, lots of options here. Ground through your shoulder blades. Nice. Give yourself one last squeeze. And then slowly come on center. Slowly, 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 and then swap it over. Drawing your knees towards your right. Again, keeping your shoulder blades grounded. Nice, and give yourself one last squeeze. Then we'll finish off in happy baby here. So bring your knees nice and wide. You can grab the outsides of your knees, knife it to baby feet. Or, and then from here, I want you to slowly Shift the weight towards your left. Start to straighten through your left leg a little bit or a lot. Bring your right heel, I'm going to say it, towards your genitals. That's okay to say that word, right? And then slowly swap it over. Shift the weight to your right butt, cheek straight through your right leg. Falling over is all part of the shape as well to bend through your left knee. One more towards the left. Just slowly just bringing the hamstrings back. A little bit of gentle opening to the last side. Nice. Then hug both knees and towards your chest. Give yourself a nice tight squeeze. Bring the shoulder blades off with the ground nose to your knees. Squeeze your face, squeeze your jaw. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Shavasana. You've made it. Soft landing. Well deserved. We simply bring our heels as wide as is comfortable, bring our arms as wide as comfortable. And I invite you now and give you full permission and give yourselves full permission to do absolutely nothing.
Mm. Slowly, when you're ready, it's time to return. And if you're at home and you have a little bit more time in your hands, you can absolutely hang out here as long as you like. If you're ready, slowly bring little movements back to the body, waving the head from side to side, rolling ankles, wrists, deliberately breathing again. Take your time. When you feel the time is right, stretch your arms up over your head. Hug the knees in towards your chest and slowly make your way with as least effort as possible to a seat, sitting up on a block or a book, whatever you have at home. Finding a nice tall spine, closing the eyes down. It's this beautiful moment in class right now where we just stop, pause, and just feel. Physiologically, we've absolutely moved the body, contorted the body in lots of different directions, but energetically, we have this prana, this inner chi that we've moved around as well. So just notice, we not only physiologically, the way you're feeling more subtly, just notice and just pause and just notice the way you're feeling. Notice the state of your mind. Hmm. Bring your hands to prayer and bring your thumbs to your third eye in between your eyebrows and gently bow your head in, in respect to yourself, each other, the practice, the teachers that have come before us, but as always, that most important teacher, that guide within. Let's very humbly together close the class by saying namaste.